you regret that yet? I'm talking about the decision we made to put this young mayor in office. Because as of late, this young mayor is more of a naive one, being that he keeps saying constantly over and over that he has this serial killer situation under control. Yes, he's done some things. He's gotten the local uh, police involved. He set mandatory curfews. That's all fine and well. But think about this for a second. If you watch the national news and you hear about a serial killer, typically by now, wouldn't they bring the FBI in? Wouldn't they get more people involved? We still have zero leads. We are still shutting businesses down at nighttime, killing our city, killing revenue to different places that need it. So my question to you is, are you satisfied? And is he really doing enough? You really going on that shit? While Lake Charles has a ravaged serial killer on the loose, young mayor Nick Hunter has no idea what to do. Detective has no leads. Meanwhile, James black ass out here looking for vampires. No, I don't believe in none of this shit. Then why are you going? I gotta prove a point. Like, you know what happened to Khadijah. Now I just feel like V trying to make a whole joke out of this shit. I can't let that slide. I'm going because the time is right to put an end to that shit. Bodies, 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 bod
say they short, man. What you gotta say. used to be my grandparents, but they gave it to some of their old time friends before they passed away. Said we could use the shed so long as we keep the noise down. Not like they could hear anything anyway. We still have to clean it out though. Why couldn't we find a classroom or meet at one of our houses? Cuz, nigga, you looking for vampires. Can't do that in no dorm. If we gonna find a vampire, we gonna need a lair to put all of our vampire hunting shit. So this is a lair? Yeah. That sound fucking stupid. Go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily And I'm the type of that might change my number on you Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you Pretty brown skin, baby, I can see the summer on you You see all the bread and I know it make you wonder Don't you, don't you, don't you, Ooh, I ain't surprised at all Seen them rise and fall Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all At the top I found some relief I finally got some peace Carry on with please, don't mess up the mood Dumbass out there hunting vampires. We better come see for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> smart you are, you're about to get out of my chair. This is the perfect spot for me to get my work done. I won't bother y'all at all. I'll just be over here. It'll be like I'm not even here. Why'd you even volunteer for this? This ain't really the type of thing I see you doing, and you obviously don't plan on helping. Dr. White offered James a way to pass the class with an impossible group assignment. Obviously, vampires don't exist. So for her to do that would just be cruel. 
unless she was given out pity points for participation at the end of this. They sound like you even need the grades. I always need the grades. I got it. We're going to call this the Slayer Lair. Man, shut your stupid ass up. Hey. hey, what's up, son? Can I ask you some things about mom? What about her? I mean, like, you always tell me about how much you love her, but you don't ever really tell me anything about her. You don't think that um, maybe she would want you to maybe start dating again? <laughs> maybe fi find someone? I'm sure she wouldn't mind, but you know, uh... You know, I, I think she she waiting for me. You know, you know when I when I leave this place, you know I think she up there waiting for me. You know, uh, I ain't in no hurry, but you know I think she just looking out for me, waiting for me. You know about um maybe something strange mom might have left behind, something she didn't want anyone to know about. Yeah, you. <laughs> Hey baby, first I want to tell you that I love you so much. If you're reading this, then that means I'm probably not with you anymore. I'm writing this right as I leave and go back to fight. I wish I could stay with you, but they need me out there. I can sense that your father doesn't think I should go. I know he wants to talk, but I don't think he will. He doesn't want to distract me. I've been avoiding talking to him about it because I don't want to see him hurt. Your father is a good man. There's so much I want to tell you, but I can't put it in this letter. If you found this letter, then that means you also found the machine. Fix the machine and you'll know everything. You also should have the letter for your father in the third letter, which appears to be blank, but it's really not. You just don't know how to read it yet. If I am dead when you read this, then do me a favor. Burn the letters immediately. This is one of two things that I'll ever ask of you, son. The other thing is be what you were always destined to be, my little soldier, a hero. You have what it takes to help people. I've seen it in you the first time I looked in your eyes. Go out and have the courage to take on the world. Be brave. Protect the ones who cannot protect themselves. And remember, fix the machine and burn the other letters. I love you, son. I find it so interesting how they have all these killings going on and nobody's doing nothing about it. And everybody's just sitting around and just not doing nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So if the police can't stop these killings from happening, then who can save us from this nightmare? Who's gonna do something about it? Trying to catch a vampire, you trying to smash the home. Shut the fuck up, James. His mama dad are war heroes. 
both of them fought in the war back in the day. His mom ended up getting pregnant with him. So they sent her home so that she could give birth to him. But once she had him, she had to go back and finish her tour. They only let them have that arrangement because of who she was. The thing is, when she went back, she ended up dying. My dad told me that. They used to be cool back in the day. All right, well, guess this is it. Where do we start? Come in. How long are you here for? As long as it takes. This, uh, it's your official office? Unofficial business. You know, whenever I was 17 years old, I ran my grandmother's restaurant. They called me the young manager. And then when I ran for police jury, and I won. They called me the young juror. And then when I run for mayor, and I win, they call me the young mayor. Except, if I wasn't in this situation, I don't think that they would be calling me. I know what you did in California. That a fact? Listen, uh, Mr. Mayor, I need something from you. I know what you need, and you'll have it. I've already let them know that you're operating in the city, and they'll stay out of your way. You'll have total freedom to do whatever you need to do to end this. Don't kill anybody. Except for the killer, of course. You know how they are. They will burn you. I know where we can start. We can start with you telling us why this means so much to you. Mm. It obviously means more than you letting on. Do y'all even know the way y'all look at me? Like how y'all looking at me right now? Like I'm really fucking lost? Do you know what that shit feels like? In the past six months, I haven't even held a conversation that lasted more than three minutes with anybody besides my uncle. So for being honest, there's that. That's some sad shit you cry about on your own time, lost girl. Well, since we're exposing motives, what's yours? No, my motive. I need this grade to pass. <laughs> and that's it. Lies. I saw the way you looked at that girl in the picture. Who was she to you? Look, James, we don't have to be like this. We can actually work together and expose the truth to people. People are dying and people are choosing not to see what's right in front of them. If we get on the same page, we have a chance to put a stop to this vampire and stop these killings. But only if we work together. It don't look like, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but nobody here believes this vampire shit is real. But y'all agreed to do this assignment. Because it's fun. It was fun, but not one of us got to be the one to be real with you. Like, I, mean, I thought you were making a joke out of this, but like, now I see that you really do believe this shit. Like, you really are lost. Is this the vampire slaying tryouts? What tryouts? You're not in Dr. White's class. Yeah, I kind of reached out to him earlier. I thought we could hear what he had to say, but obviously I should have waited. Well, whatever he had to say doesn't matter now.
what if I have proof? What if I have proof that vampires exist?